All right. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to come and join us today um, for this little uh, webinar on the CPS um, IAQ Pro Smart Air. This is a tool that um, CPS came out with. We did a soft launch on this back a year ago, and we led a couple hundred of these units out into the market to get some feedback. And the feedback we received was very good um, because uh, it helped us adapt the unit to become more precise and also have a much smoother and easier running app. So without further ado, I will get into this. Oops. The purpose of the tool was to edu educate customers about the benefits of Smart Air. Um, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to talk to customers about something you can't see and you can't feel um, other than in your uh, internally with your health benefits. There's been numerous books and articles written on indoor air quality facts and um, and the problems that it causes and but there's never really been anything that's connected the, uh, the issues in a home and what can be done to rectify them. The EPA estimates are that there are, uh, the indoor air quality is two to five times more polluted than outdoor air. And different parts of your home can offer up different issues um, from asbestos, insulation, um, dust mites in the attic, to excessive humidity in the bathroom, carbon monoxide gas and solvents in the garage, to pet dander and things like that in the bedrooms. Um, some companies offer tools that help identify indoor air quality issues. Um, some offer solutions. This actually connects all three of the parts together. By identifying indoor air quality issues, identifying potential causes of those problems, and helping technicians offer products and service solutions to help rectify what's going on in the home. By taking what you can't see and putting it into pictures and graphs, numerical data, things like that, you can help show homeowners dirty ductwork or leaking ductwork in the attic to mold on coils, um, condenser problems, things like that. There are other consumer products out there that are for indoor air quality measurement that are exactly what they say. They're consumer type products like um, Fubot that use one or two sensors. This unit actually has four independent sensors taking four independent measurements and extrapolating eight different metrics out of that. Um, it uses a carbon monoxide sensor, a particulate sensor, temperature, humidity, pressure sensor, and a VOC sensor. Whereas the other units that I'm speaking about that have one or two sensors, they will have something that will take a VOC and a temperature and they will estimate and give you a approximate carbon dioxide. This unit actually is a professional tool taking very precise measurements. When you get the unit, it will come with this speaker type case and then it is the Alexa type looking unit you see on the right over here. It will also come with a USB to USB-C cable and an AC adapter. You can easily run this unit off of a power brick, um, which is good because you can then move it around the home and take measurements in different areas of the home without having to repower it. When you get the unit, you will simply plug it in and there's a light bar on the front of it that will light up. It will take it about five seconds for it to initialize and connect to the app on your phone or your tablet. And then once it does um, stabilize and get set up, it'll take this light bar on the front of it and change the color of it based on the carbon dioxide, particulate matter, and fine particulate matter and VOCs. That way the homeowner does not think that you're playing with something on your phone. The light bar on the front is actually gonna change color based on what it's seeing on these four measurements right here. And then you can also use the unit in winter or summer by changing the indoor air comfort zone on it. So it's an all year round tool. The eight measurements it takes are carbon dioxide, particulate matter, 10 micron, fine particulate matter, 2.5 micron. Those are products that can go directly from the air and through your lungs into your bloodstream, um, VOCs, building pressure, temperature, relative humidity, and dew point.
The unit can be used with iOS or Android devices, and you can connect up to seven different devices at the same time. You can simply press this little grid icon up on the top right hand of your screen, and it will take all this graphical information and compress it down to raw numerical. So you can actually just scroll up and down through all the units that are connected via Bluetooth. Um, it obviously has to be within Bluetooth range, which is 150 feet unobstructed. Um, different buildings will offer up different issues as far as how far um, you can get range from them. But if you wanted to put one in every room of the house, you can connect up to seven at the same time. The unit will give you live readings from the moment that you connect to it. There's other thing, other units out on the market like Air Advice and Honeywell that you can actually put it into a home. It will take measurements. It will send that information off to a server, at which point it will be compiled and sent back to the technician. With this unit, you can actually take live readings. So when the technician goes into the home, he can set it up. He can take a look at it and see and take a snapshot of whatever measurements he's taken right in the beginning. And as he's going around and changing things like the air filter and making checks on the system, he can then make a comparison to it. Um, by taking that snapshot, you can compare what you did in the beginning versus what you had in the end. And then you can email that off to the homeowner right from your phone or tablet. You can run a 30 minute time frame test or a custom time frame test up to 24 hours. Um, it's not taking a data logging of different points during that, but it's taking an average of what it reads during that amount of time. The 30 minute time test is the most common because of the VOC sensor takes about 25 to 30 minutes to stabilize. So that way it gives you a good accurate reading on it. Um, but like I said, you can run it up to 24 hours. The unit, your phone does not need to be connected to it during that 24 hour time. You simply need to initialize the test um, with your phone or tablet, and then you can leave and come back. And when you connect to it, um, you'll be good to go. At the end of the test, it will give you a notification that the testing is done. And then it will give you these screens like you see underneath here. It'll bring up a tachometer. And on this tachometer, you'll have the different readings that you've taken. As you scroll down on the screen, you'll have an area for the contractor information, which if you have saved that information in there, it will automatically be populated. And then you can choose a customer to add to it. If it's already in there, you simply highlight the customer you want, or you can add the customer as you go along. As you scroll down on the screen, you'll see that it's giving you the measurements that it's taken and anything that has a yellow or, or anything other than a green, really, it'll have drop down menus and you can choose which items that you would like to um, include on that report. Um, once you check mark those items, you can then add a price into it. And only the items that you have check marked will appear on the final report. You can also add custom um, solutions and custom causes. So if you had a particular line of UV lights, you could put in a um, Remy Halo whole home UV system and it would automatically save it in that app so that you would then be able to just check mark it out the next time and add your price into it. And those are the items that will be connected into the final report. The metrics that we're taking, um, the measurements we're taking off of the, our, the information is garnered from the World Health Organization, the EPA, and the engineering toolbox. And that's where we get the color coding, determining what's good, uh, moderate, or severe. There's drop down screens on each one of the measurements that show you the numerical data that corresponds with the color coding on it. And there's also drop down menus for all of the measurements it's taking. So if you have a technician or a homeowner that's asking a question, what is a VOC? You can simply press the information screen and it will tell you what are VOCs, where are they found, and the possible health effects of that. These are some samples of a report. Um, it's a very long report that goes down, so I've cut it off into sections to include it on here so you can see it. It's kind of side by side in this drawing, but uh, on this slide, on the left is the top of the report where it's showing you the contractor information and the customer information underneath it. And then you scroll down further and you would have here the um, speedometers that are showing you the different readings that it's taken. And then it goes down into the temperature, humidity, static pressure, dew point, and then it has a chart showing you the indoor air comfort zone. 
and where you sit on that with your humidity and temperature. As you scroll further down, you'll see that it's showing you each one of the measurements it's taken. The PM 2.5 is good in this instance. And the 10 was good. The humidity was 47%, temperature 77. The VOCs, CO2 were good, and the pressure was good. So in this case, I chose none of the items to go on this report. It's just showing that you had a healthy home. And as you scroll further down, it will actually have a GPS um, coordinates or map to show you where the reading was done at. This is a second reading that was taken, and this one I actually added customer information in there as well. So as you scroll down, you can see that in this instance, you had a slightly elevated VOCs and a moderate level CO2. Um, temperature, humidity, and everything else was satisfactory on it. It fell within the comfort zone. And in this case, it was chosen that the garage ventilation and exhaust climate negative pressure in the garage was an issue. So we installed a, a, a exhaust fan into the garage and also sealed the door coming into the home. And that was a, as you can see, where I highlighted, and I, those are the items that were included. So it's 200 and 275. And then there was a, another screen on there. There it is right there, at an EH, ERV. HRV exchange stale air with fresh air. That was $450 and it gives you the total on the bottom. And once again, it tells you on the GPS map where it was located. So what this unit will do is it will help identify indoor air quality issues. It will determine the causes of those issues and it will recommend solutions to correct the air quality issues. So it will help and take any technician and turn them into an indoor air quality professional by generating custom reports with numerical and graphical data that can instantly be shared with homeowners that will lead to sales of additional HVAC products and services, which will obviously offer more profits all year round. These are the measurement specifications for the unit. And I believe we'll have this, um, a recording of this available later so that you can have this uh, specification, but they're also located on our web page. There is another thing that you can do. The unit last, is set up to last for 10 years without ever needing to be recalibrated. The only thing on there that would need to be recalibrated is the VOC sensor. If the unit is left for um, an extreme temperatures for long periods of time, like in a 100 degree van for a long weekend, then you are probably going to need to reset the VOC sensor because you're going to get some extremely high readings that will be off the chart for any location that you're in. Um, when you get the new unit new, you will also set up the VOC sensor. And it's a very simple process. You would simply go to the, in, in the initial um, installation or of the app and connection, it will actually guide you through this automatically. But if you needed to reset it at a later time, you would simply go up and press the menu button on the top and you would go to where it says set baseline. It will then take you to the next screen. It will give you instructions on um, resetting of the VOC sensor. And then you would go through the steps. It says follow these steps. You simply press next on each one of them. It will tell you that you have to have a warm up period of 24 consecutive hours indoors. And then you would take the unit outdoors and run it for five minutes. And then you would hit the button that says set baseline and you're good to go. Um, when you first get the unit, like I said, you're gonna take it out of the box and you're gonna do this in your own home, not in the customer's home and run it for 24 hours and run through that process. And then if you ever get faulty VOC readings, you can then simply just take that unit and follow that procedure that I just took you through right there. It never needs to be sent back and recalibrated. There's no yearly fee to it or anything like that. There's no cost to using the app. So once you purchase the unit, it is all yours and you're not looking at getting maintenance fees or anything like that from that point on. It does come with a one year product warranty. And then as I said, the CPS link app is no charge for the app and our single app connects to all of our smart tools so you can have everything on that screen that's uh, connected to your app and you can take those readings all at the same time. And on that note, I'm going to unmute my counterpart and allow him to join because I'm sure there's been some questions that have come up in the chat room. John, are you on?
Yes, I'm here. All right. Was there anything in the chat room that I missed and needed to be answered? Not that I saw. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add to it? No, no. I, I think you were pretty comprehensive. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else, these are available, you know, at your local wholesaler. And there is, there's actually one right there. All right, Curtis, thank you. Um, like I said, they're available at your local wholesaler and they go for just over $500 and it's a one-time fee. So if there's nothing else, I'll just stay on here and I'll look for any of the other chat questions that come up. And outside of that, thanks everybody for joining us. Thanks again, everyone. Please let me know if you have any questions. djackson at cpsproducts.com. There's no period in between that. And thank you.